Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you're new, I make a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and life content. If that interests you, please be sure to check out my other videos, like this video, and subscribe. So this video kind of combines my most popular topics that I cover on this channel, hair and skincare. And it kind of dabbles into fashion, but that's a bit of a reach. So as you know by the title, I'm telling you six ways that your hair is causing you to have acne and breakouts. Your acne and breakouts can be caused by your hair. And my number one and number two reasons are that one, you might not be switching out or washing your pillowcases enough. Number two, you might not be washing or switching out your scarves hair coverings, head coverings, hats, etc. enough. I mentioned this in another video, but it's really important to wash both your pillowcases and your scarves on a regular basis. Whatever you cover with your hair, whatever's on your hair is gonna transfer to your head scarf, for instance. And then whatever is on your head scarf that's coming from your hair is gonna transfer to your pillowcase, which will transfer to your face, unless you sleep on your back, but a lot of us don't. So whatever is coming off your hair, coming off your scarf, coming off your pillowcases will get to your face and cause acne, might have bacteria, other germs, whatever, dirt, debris, that is just not the best for your skin. This kind of takes me into number three, which is you might be sensitive to fragrances. So if you use a lot of hair products that have a ton of fragrance, that might be causing you to break out as well. A lot of people are sensitive to fragrances when it comes to the skin and they can have breakouts. And then also, if you are washing your pillowcases and scars with agents that are full of fragrance, that could be causing your skin to be irritated and break out as well. I use fragrance-free detergents for washing my pillowcases and my head scars. Number four is having your hair in your face. So I know like with my curl cut, like my veins fall into my face, but a lot of times I just push my hair out of my face. And even if you have it like long hair or hair that kind of frames your face, that can cause you to have breakouts because of what might be in your hair. And that leads me to number five, which is you might not be washing your hair enough. So I mentioned that I wash my hair twice a week. Sometimes I've washed it three times a week and sometimes I do stretch with just one time a week. I do have a pretty active schedule I work out pretty much every day. I work out every day. And so therefore I do have to wash my hair a lot more often than other people do. And so if you are someone that is trying to stretch your hair out to wash like every two weeks, every three weeks, every four weeks, you are probably causing your breakouts because you aren't washing your hair. Because if you're not washing your hair enough, that stuff, whatever is in your hair, debris, dirt, sweat, whatever, oil, it's just going on your scarves, going on your pillowcases and getting to your face and causing you breakouts. You have to wash your hair a lot more often if you deal with acne like me. This takes me to my last point, which is using raw oils on your hair. As you're well aware, water and oil do not mix. So therefore the oil is probably just sitting on your hair. So therefore it goes to your scarves, goes to your, goes to your pillowcases and then gets to your face. You do not want raw oils on your face, especially if you have acne prone skin. We saw with previous years with people saying use coconut oil, use coconut oil and it getting added to skincare products and being marketed as something that is good for people with acne prone skin absolutely not that was horrible oils are already incorporated into all of my hair care products so therefore I don't feel the need to add oil on top of my hair and especially as someone that has acne prone skin it will not help me in the long run so those are the six things that I try to avoid or do to prevent my hair from causing me to have acne and breakouts and I'm gonna do comment of the week. This comment is from Blue. She always leaves the nicest comments. And her comment is, wow, your skin has come a long way. I mean, it's so soft looking and glowy. Thank you so much. I'm working really hard to kind of get my skin where I want it, but it's just, I'm honestly like satisfied with my skin. A lot of it right now, it's just me trying to prevent more post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which I feel like is like a never ending cycle, but I've definitely gotten better at it. I can't wait to show you guys my month of being on Tropicals, my month of being on Tropicals Faded. I can't wait to show you all that update. I'm super excited about that. These are just like six points that I think will really help you if you are dealing with acne because a lot of people don't realize that their hair might be causing their breakouts or that their hair is causing them to have acne and breakouts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you again.